prayer is the essential relationship in the Godhead. Understand? If Jesus is God, then when he was on earth, who was he talking with whenever he prayed? You realize that when you pray, you don't supplicate. Every time you see prayer, it went with supplication. What is supplication? Body posture, Daniel chapter 6. Has it got anything to do with prayer? Yes! Your posture in prayer is part of supplication. Daniel 6, the verse number 10. And the verse number 11. Look at this. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house. First thing he did, he opened the windows. He created an environment that can charge him to pray. Why did he open the windows? To face Jerusalem. The issue. That is how sometimes when we get certain issues, we write it, we place it down before us. This thing, I will dance around it and kill it. This thing, as I'm praying and I'm watching it, they said that I will not be promoted this year. We will see. You put that letter down. Daniel organized himself. Listen, don't joke with it. Oh, I just go and pray. The letter is in my, is in my, is in my briefcase. Oh God, please, that letter in the briefcase, Daddy. You should make sure you take care of it. All. You know that when I'm sad, I'm the biggest tighter in church, and and you won't get your tight. So God, be serious. You for you look sharp. You see, you for look sharp. Would you sit down? Would you sit down for all of these things to happen, Daddy? Daddy, be serious. Be serious. Be serious. In Jesus' name, you have heard everything. Amen. Watch this. He went into his house. His windows being, op- his windows being open. In his chamber toward Jerusalem. He. Please. He. Some people for the whole year. They've never knelt in prayer before. They are always standing. He. I can't hear you. He. He. Can I hear you better? Kneel. He kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did at all time. 11, see this. Then these men assembled, now watch this, and found him, Daniel, what was he doing? And how did they know he was making supplication? Attitude. His posture. They didn't say that they found him praying only. They said, and they found him praying and making supplication. Before his God. Ah, I thought you only pray before God. Supplication is not important. It is. His posture. Now he was not crying. His attitude. His posture. And then he had opened his windows. Toward Jerusalem. By the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down there. We wept. When we remembered Zion, our enemies required of us a song. Asking us to sing unto them some of the joyful songs of Zion. And we said to them, Daddy, we cannot sing such songs in a strange land. We will sing only in the land of our beds. Oh, Zion, the beauty of all situations. What I'm saying. Prayer of supplication is not written. First of all, prayer of supplication is not written. Anytime you read a written prayer, you did not supplicate. That one is straight to the point. It's like proposing to a woman and then looking at the woman and say, um, My dear, the woman is here. Remember, God is before you. Please remember, God is before you. Um, my dear elder, the, the, it is with much pleasure and joy that uh, I want you to uh, consider this letter and, and give me a favorable answer. I am the best man you will ever 
meet in, in this life. And I want you to know that God has put us together. So whatsoever God has put together, let no man put a sender, including you. Yours sincerely. Pity you, please turn over. <laughs> what? These are my plans for you. The Ketuba says, I should tell you of my promises. Your rights. <laughs> and the, these are the gifts I present to you. Kisses on ending. I love you, my sweetheart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the lady will say, <laughs> Young man, <laughs> are you on drugs? Or you should be put on drugs. <laughs> Please. Every time. Now watch this. Every time you read prayer. And you read it as you are reading. At least if you are reading it. We should see attitude in it. That dry thing that they do that they call prayer. Please. I beg to differ. It is not supplication. It is prayer without supplication. Put me in prison. It's liturgy. You see, you don't want to submit to truth. I just hurt somebody. But let me tell you the truth and be hurt. If it is read, you yourself that has bowed your head. When you open your eyes, you look at the man who is reading it. You're like, mm, Papa, when you're serious. This is just, he, just, he wants us to finish the ceremony. Yesterday, we went to some wedding somewhere. And they called some pastors to come and pray. Then they call one old man. He came to stand there to pray some. When he was called to pray, he was able to say something about him. When everybody was supposed to pray, he came to stand there and was doing. He's from one of those churches. He was doing this. He was watching everybody's face and watching the other's hands. He, and, uh, he was just watching them. His hand, because he has been called to pray, his hand is on the bride and the groom. He was just watching. I was watching him as I was praying. I said, today I have to pick an attitude to go and preach about tomorrow. Let me see what this man will do. He was just there. and He, he, was, he wasn't praying. He wasn't praying. His eyes were just open. He was watching the people that were praying. And his hands were on the bride and the groom. And he was watching. And then a little time, he would just watch around. till so they said, Amen. Then he also said, Amen. I said, is this prayer? Please, let us not deceive ourselves. Prayer without supplication is no prayer supplication in itself is a necessary ingredient in prayer. Daniel knelt. 1 Kings 8.54 Quick. 1 Kings 8.54 Quick. And it was so that when Solomon had made an end of praying, watch this, all this prayer and supplication, so we pray supplications. When he had made an end of praying all this prayer and supplication unto the Lord, he arose from before the altar of the Lord, from kneeling on his knees with his hands spread up to heaven. You see some people, when we come to church, what is this? With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise with a heart of thanksgiving. giving I will bless thee, O oh Lord. With my hands lifted up. With my hands lifted up. If we catch you people doing that thing. Did you say with your hands lifted up or with your hands lifted up? Yebekutu wo na ya sorry wo. Mi amye yabema. Yes, I swear. Now you're What are you doing? It is either telling me that you are mad. Why am I saying so? Please. Let me say these things. It is either telling me you are mad, 
Your mind is unfruitful. You are just saying things. Your mind is not following what you are doing. That is how come I said, my dear sister, you are right. Because when you are praying or you are singing in prayer, your mind, you said, How do you pray? Yebe kutu na ya sorry wo. Yebe ma ya saso na ya tuntum wo. Wo ye kese a obi ni wa otese wo. Now listen, when you do this, thousands of hugging. You are praying and you are asking for hearts. Just when they went up, I got more serious because the attitude of the young boy spoke to me. That the very message I'm coming to preach, I have faulted. <laughs> False that. So before I say what to you, I had already said what to me. Now you see, you see. What this song? On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the... Thing. But on the mountain, mountain in the valley, on the you are not in the thing. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land. You see, the person is singing with his heart. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful. So high, you can get over it. Oh, Lord. Hey, are you sure you are praying? Kela shock. Please. You realize. No, you see, for me, I have problems with people like that. And you may ask the pastors, when you pray with me, I'll just stop the prayer and say, hey, let's close. What, what is wrong with you people? I don't pray with people like that. You can ask PMF members. You come without attitude, we'll stop the prayer. I'm praying with you. You are just there as if you are a log that had lost all water. It is not in the shout. It is not in the softness. It is in the attitude. And God says, He hears supplication. He hears it. Your supplication. So you realize some people say, So for it, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Okay, can't hope out. Me per se me yo, me was a mamma in country. Oh, yeah, so far, yeah, so far, yeah, 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 When we preach, we are men of God. When we pray and we sing, we are boys of God, children of God. Hey, hey. Listen, when we are praising and we are praying, I don't watch any of you. I'm watching somebody. I am before Papa. 
I am before Papa. I am little. When I walk in, I walk into worship. I walk into praise. I walk into pray. Little dicking that you have become. You can't even worship. Little leader that you have become. Little elder. Now you have become small pastor. You can't even worship. Now, that is when people bring you drinks. As we are all praising, they are now putting drinks in your mouth like the way the man was doing it. That foolish man who was sitting. That foolish man. He came to sit here. He sat in that big chair. Block-headed spiritually. He was sitting here. And another two had come. <laughs> Equally like himself. <laughs> After his kind. Like father, like son. And he's coming to give him... Oh, and then he just... No, no. Uh, so phone call, uh. No supplication. No supplication. No supplication. Hey. The Bible said, Solomon, when he had finished praying, prayer and supplication, when he finished, he rose up from his kneeling down and his hands raised. No, why do you think that? The, the word is so emphatic. He didn't say, oh, when he finished praying, he showed us how he was praying. What was the attitude of his prayer? Kneeling down, and he has spread his hands towards heaven. Some more. Matthew chapter 26. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and saith unto the disciples, Sit ye here, while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. Verse 39. And he went a little further. He went a little further and fell on his face. Wasn't this the same account that said with strong cryings? It's the same account. So we realize that apart from Hebrews, that says that, Hebrews 5, 7, that says that with strong cries and tears, the Bible also said he fell on his face. Posture. Ah, now yes, we have empire. And then I didn't cast it. No. He fell on his face. He fell on his face. And prayed saying, oh my father, if it be possible, let this car pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as I will. He fell on his face. For somebody, he's never wept. For somebody, he's never had strong tears. For somebody, he's never knelt. And I'm talking about this year. Not that you have not done it before. This year is what I'm talking about. So don't think, oh, last year I was kneeling. Those days, I, I used to do that a lot. He's never knelt. He's never raised his hands in prayer. He's never fell on his face in prayer. It is called supplication. Body posture. What posture do you assume when you pray? Some more. First Peter 3 verse 12. That is the key. 1 Peter 3, the verse number 12. Oh! God, he does not only hear prayer, he also watches prayer. See this. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. God, he watches when somebody is praying. He watches. He looks out for the person. What is going on in his heart? And why is he standing there? Why is his heart moving him to raise up hands? And he's kept it down. Why does he wait for a musical instrument before he moves his legs? Before he taps? 
Why, why does he wait for many people before he jumps? That thing is welling up. I remember back in IIT, one day, one day I was called at a meeting and I was asked, why? Why do I do that? I said, why do I do what? He said, no, 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 no. You, you don't do that. I said, what, please? They said, why is it that as for me alone? When they are preaching and we are all enjoying the word and everybody is even laughing and sitting and celebrating, then I'll jump and I'll start, wow, wow, wow. That was back in the night. I was called that I'm an executive. I don't have to do that. Yes. I watched them. I said, oh, okay. I see. Thank you. The next meeting, I was up. They realized that the guy won't stop. By the time I realized, now IETF, a lot of people are joined. They were. By the time those who were complaining, when <laughs> they are started enjoying the thing. But you see, you must not join the train because somebody is doing it. You must do it out of understanding. I remember one time, one man of God called me and said that by ministry, it takes a man of God shouldn't fall under the power. And he's realized that every time he's in my meeting, I'm falling under the power. What kind of spirit is that? I said, mm. I said, me, I don't know. I don't know. So no, a man of God shouldn't fall under the power. And then the meeting gets bizarre. I said, oh, okay. Man of God, you, you don't fall. Uh, that's why nobody falls in your meetings. You don't fall under the power. The man of God is too big for the fall. Supplication. That is what brings about the supply. That is what carves the answer. One Kings eight forty seven to forty nine. I don't know if we read it, but let's read it again to see something. No, we didn't read it. One Kings eight forty seven to forty nine. That's what brings in what our sisters talked about. See, yet if they shall bethink themselves in the land whither they were carried captives and repent their mind and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive, saying, We have sinned and have done perversely; we have committed wickedness. So now. If they repent and make supplications, first of all, a change of mind. Have a change of mind. Repent. Repentance is part of supplication. A change of mind. If they would change their mind, if they bethink themselves in the land where they were carried captives, and repent, and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, we have sinned, and have done perversely, we have committed wickedness for the and so return unto thee with all their heart. The other day, the Bible says that God said that with your mouth you talk, but your heart is far from me. With your mouth you talk, you do a lot of talking, but your heart is far from me. Let me show you how some people short circuit supplication. Their brothers, their sisters in church, they don't talk to each other. All their prayers is hindered because of supplication. Now, the Bible says that when you marry and there's a problem between you and your wife, your prayer is hindered. Why is it hindered? You are not talking to your wife. Your wife is not talking to you. Now, how? This God that you see, you cannot forgive. You cannot love. You cannot overlook offenses. You have become so hurt, not by whoever hurt and whoever is hurt. Doesn't matter. Some people, their wives may hurt them. They get so bitter, so bitter, they can't even raise their hand in prayer. They are not weeping that God should intervene. No. They are weeping for the hurt that has been done to them. The Bible said your prayer is in there. You realize two people are in church. When they meet, they go, oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, you are here. Yeah, yeah, come forward. Yeah, yeah. Now, so, unto me, you need here. Unto me, you can't fool you. Me, that was it. But unto me, you need here. Me, you are here. Unto me, you need here. Ni are here, no. Esau, Efatau. Now, you need here, Bibia, Ense, no, Empatau. No, 
No. You are supplicating falsely. It is called false supplication. You have a bad attitude towards the brethren. Bad attitude towards sisters in church. How can you therefore supplicate to God who you don't see? The God you even see. You have become so hurt, so bitter. You never even want to talk to anybody. And you have become suspicious of everybody in church. Then now when you come, you quickly, yes, you have come. It's the word of God because you came because of the word. You just want the word to be preached and out, you are gone. All you came to do was waste. You prayed, no supplication. Let me explain much to you. In Acts, the book of Acts, the Bible said, watch this. The Bible said, and they joined hands and made supplication. How then would you join hands with one that you are not happy with? Acts 1, I think the verse number 14. All continued with one accord in prayer and supplication. And one of the versions says, These all continued joining hands. Which version has that one? NIV. They joined together. One version. One version says, Check contemporary English version also, CV also. He said, They are, uh -huh. they all joined together constantly in prayer. And this does not bring the supplication. But read King James. Let's read King James. King James. They all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Now, let's start from verse 13. And when they were coming, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, Zelotes, and Judas, the brother of James. And that was not where the Holy Ghost fell. It was the, the upper room was where they took the... Passover cedar. That was where they were living. That was the house Jesus hired for them. That was not where the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost didn't come in the upper room. We've done that before. All right. This all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Next. And in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, The number of the names together were about 120. They were held hands together in supplication please the dimension of supplication i'm talking about is agreement between the brethren if you supplicate in your house where you have a problem with your child your prayer cannot be answered it doesn't matter whose fault is it it is whether it's your child's fault handle that because of supplication whether it's your wife's fault handle that because of supplication whether it's the husband's fault, handle that because of supplication. Because the necessary ingredient for supplication is one accord, the joining of hands. You see husband and wife, now they have a problem, so everybody's praying their prayer. It's different from everybody praying and having their personal fellowship, but now because they have a problem, and sometimes, let me rather say this, you realize that even when you are going out with somebody, a beloved, a wife, now when there is an issue, we, we had fixed already that this Wednesday at 4 p.m. We'll pray till 5 p.m. Okay. Now, we fixed it last week, Friday. On Tuesday, we had an issue. It was not sorted out. On Wednesday morning, we had an issue. And at 4, we have to meet. So we met. So let's pray. Then, if it's the one, perhaps the, the lady is the one supposed to lead the prayer meeting. Let's pray. Come on, Shulana. 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 Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They are going out. When I finish, I'll talk about married people. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please pray and run out this meeting. Father, we thank you for this meeting. Amen. Amen. Have you seen what he has done? If there was no issue... Let me tell you how you are short-circuiting your growth. Spiritual things could be separated from the issues we have. And we can solve fellowship in the spirit and later come and talk about our issues. Or we should sort out the issues before we pray if we are not so mature to handle it. Now you realize that marriage, in marriage, we have an issue. 
So, I'm the man. You are the no. You were first the woman. Okay, now I'm the woman. You are the man. Okay. So we pray. We are praying. Uh, uh, and then you are praying loud. You are the one leading. You are the man. Lead. Shabato se de 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 beosha tasta le mi consentem vina mo se de basha shib shiba da basa ta di 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 bi kosha da basa ta basa ta basa shib shiba da baswa ta di di bi hasa tu ske di 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 bi hosa jibi tu shabato se ta kosha. Um, in Jesus' name, um, I want you to summon this prayer up. Father, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Say, Abon. That prayer will never receive answer. Why? It is not that the prayer was not a right prayer. Now, what does God listen to? Two things in prayer. Come on, talk to me. Now, what's the name? Prayer. I have heard thy word, voice, and supplication. Please grow. Now you go to some church. Somebody so hurt. One of the pastors is so hurt. Comes to church. I saw you make a trap I may have no supplications, supplications, say, am I in the air force? Software by force. Meaning, I'm in a casa. Me, I have seen some before. Can you take your seat? I remember when I started church on campus. I had one, I would never forget that person. I would never forget that person. He was on the board. I didn't, I never knew what problems the person had on the board. When I was starting his ministry, I prayed against that spirit. That I never, I took time off to pray against people like that. I'm never, that day, if there is anybody, I stopped the person. No, I mean, after that experience, after four years on campus, I learned a lot of practical things in ministry when I did the first four years. I realized that ministry is not according to selection. So I spent time concerning that particular daddy. I never want anybody like that to get on this train. If they try coming, I kill them before they arrive. <laughs> Do you know what the person was saying? Oh, I wish Pastor David was here. He saw it. When we are in church and you are preaching, When you, are, when you are preaching, like the way all of you have lived, I say, lift your head. Lift up your head. Ah, uh-huh, Pastor Philo, you remember? You were there, first year. You were there. When I'm preaching, you'll be sitting down like this. Shout, Amen! When it is his turn to lead prayer, because he was part of the leadership, when it's the... Now lift up your voice and just begin to pray in other tongues. Lift your voice. Then we'll just we'll lift up. Lift your when it comes to him, sometimes I remember there was this timetable in the classroom when we are praying. He could go so much as go and read the timetable. Monday. What once we are all praying? Okay. Okay. I said to myself, if I find anybody like that in my church, I've seen that attitude at the back today. But because I've not taught, I've not attended to it. Today, I've seen the attitude at the back. One of these days, I'm going to walk to the back and say, you, don't come to this church again. Because I prayed against such people. Listen, I have such humility when it comes to God. It doesn't matter who it is. I will push towel. Listen to what the person is saying. I've seen that attitude at the back today. I've not taught. So I didn't talk about it. But now that I've finished, if I catch anybody do that thing at the back, it will shock you. I'll just walk up to you and say, my friend, henceforth, because of your attitude, it's affecting the supplication of this commission. Out! Never step here again. Find that a million and one churches out there. Go. And listen, it's not a big deal to sack somebody out of your church. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Seriously. I remember that brother. 
when I'm coming to preach on Sunday morning, I could have running stomach because of that brother. Because as you are preaching and others are celebrating the word, he says, like, mm, now we is this word. Mm. And sometimes I remember one time I told Pastor David, I gave him opportunity to um, prepare the whole Bible study outline. Then I called him Pastor David, as we are going, please. Whatever anybody will say, attend to it. But this person, he will try and say that from the introduction to the conclusion, everything is wrong. Please. Whatever he says, don't worry about it. You are the one that has prepared it. That's what God gave you. Take us through the Bible study. In Jesus' name, he said, Amen. You can ask him. When we went for the Bible study, just when we started the Bible study, the brother listened. The introduction is wrong. It's so been like this. You see, this verse that you are trying to say will answer this question. It's not that verse. He found everything wrong with the beginning to the end. Pastor David was just watching me. I was like, Pastor. I was like, <laughs> so I sent him a note that he shouldn't allow him to talk again. When he lifts his hand, he should take off his eyes. It was so difficult for him. And sometimes he will be like that. And then when somebody is talking without lifting his hand, he will just come in and say something. Now stand and say, But Pastor David is the one leading. He has not called you. So please sit down. Pastor David, continue. I can easily do that. Easily. Easily. When we start church, let's say we're starting church around 7. 6 30. He will come to church around 11. You have never seen somebody whose heart is no more after you and has become disloyal. Any of you can do that one of these days if you don't guard your heart and you don't understand supplications. How it can even affect you. It's dangerous. Listen, serving God is dangerous. It's dangerous. Have you seen right now? They're back there. They have become. No, they are not able to tell who it is, and everybody has now maintained composure. So you could have maintained this composure all the while. Uh, uh, anyway, I have not taught you, so I can't hold you to it. But now that we have done it, just walk to the back. Say you. There's nobody here. You. <laughs> Henceforth. Don't walk into this room. This should be the last time I should see you here. Tell the ushers, whenever he comes, throw him out. You don't have a chair in this place again. Thank you. Somebody said, ah, do we sack people from church? Yes, we do. It's in the Bible. Mark them and avoid them. How would I avoid you now when this place is open? I'll just lock it up. That's how we avoid people like that. Without supplication, prayer is hindered. There must be an accord of oneness between you, your wife, your beloved, your child, your mother, your father. Unless they are saying they don't want to have anything to do with you. That's okay. Otherwise, you are not supplicating. How then would somebody be so hurt not to even receive a cup of water. Unless you are saying the person is a witch or a wizard. But you are so hurt. You don't even want to take a cup of water. What kind of, what kind of bitterness is that? What kind of a person are you? Yet you are in church. Yet you are born again. Yet you don't know that you are the one short circuiting your very answers. There is a way to live in the spirit. There is a way to walk in the spirit. It's life in the spirit. Supplication. He said, by prayer and supplication. So prayer is not enough. It goes with supplication. Some more. 2 Corinthians chapter 9, the verse 14. I've got three or so scriptures more to give you. And I'll end and I'll ask people to ask me questions because I'm not coming to supplications again. 2 Corinthians 9.14 And by their prayer for you and when you check the Greek it is the same word for supplication. 
said, and by their supplication for you, which long after you for the exceeding grace of God in you. So listen, supplication is also the means by which you would have what is on TB Joshua. Supplication. We don't pray to receive what is on Pastor Chris. In saying that, Daddy, what is on Pastor that should come on me? You don't pray for that one. You supplicate for that one. And by their supplication for you, which long after you, for the exceeding grace of God in you. It's a grave, an earnest desire. So we supplicate to partake in the graces of others. We supplicate. We find out their attitude. Two Corinthians. Seven, six and seven. Nevertheless, God that comforted those that are cast down, comforted us by the coming of Titus. And not by his coming only, but by the consolation wherewith he was comforted in you. When he told us your earnest desire. And please, the word is the same as supplications. When he told us of your earnest, your mourning, your fervent mind toward me, so that I rejoice them more. And all of that is supplication. Desire, mourning, fervent mind toward a person. Have you forgotten? I'm ending. In Genesis, the chapter number one, the verse number three. That until God said, the Holy Ghost moved. When there is never a movement within you emotionally, don't engage your voice. And when you engage your voice for within five, ten minutes, and you are not sensing it, emotionally you're wasting time am i saying that your prayer should be regulated by your emotions yes and emotions are not regulated by the spirit they are regulated by the person so if you are prayed for about five minutes and your emotions are not in the prayer what do you do you now work your emotions into it it's a matter of i must be serious it's a matter of, I should lift up my hand. It's a matter of, I should go on my knees. It's a matter of, I should lie on the floor. It's a matter of, I should go for my tillit. It's a matter of, I should go for my sofa. It's a matter of engaging my naphtalim. It's a matter of using oil. It's a matter of tears. It's a matter of joy. I didn't show you that one. Philippians 1, 4 and 19. Joy. Always in every prayer of mine for you all, making requests with joy. And the word there is making supplications with joy. Are we always to weep? No. The only thing God doesn't want is a cold attitude in prayer. Coldness as an attitude in prayer suffocates your supplication you are either crying or you are either joyful you are either standing and then working the fire i don't know how many of you have ever heard pastor chris's message on making the fire he said hey, 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 hey. my pastors there there was a time and we realized it was a pastor's meeting the pastors were just there he said stop that nonsense go and come pace pace you are just standing at one place and you're saying you are praying. Go, pace, and raise your hand. Mandolemo Shandaba, He said, Pace. I said, Ah, but if God will listen to a man, is it in his pacing? Yes. Supplication. Pace. Attitude. If God will listen to a man, is it in his standing? Yes. Even his posture. Attitude. He said, I make supplication with joy. It's not really request, no. But it's the attitude. 
with joy. With joy. With joy. With joy. With joy. And hold on. Whenever we come with joy, we draw from the wells of salvation. Never get tired. Showing an attitude towards God in prayer. It is your spiritual service. Don't think that it is weak people who attend to God emotionally. I am not saying you should express your emotions outside of the word of God. God, I'm not saying you should be emotionalism. God, look at my tears and answer my prayer. That's not what I'm saying. Weep and say what you want to say. Be joyous and say what you want to say. Be serious and say what you want to say. Maintain composure and say what you want to say. Please. There is no, no, not one. Any profession that does not go with attitude. Ask Pastor Brenda how many clients that bank would get if they never show attitude behind the teller point. Ask all lecturers, if they never show attitude by conviction of what they are teaching, if a student will ever trust and believe them. Ask doctors if they never show composure of confidence in themselves, if any patient will believe them. Ask fitness mechanics if they never show attitude. On the floor, they are there. What did you say is wrong with your car? Open, open the bonnet. Oh, can into. And then I have to be a so be a so be a so be a so. Eh, oh, okay, check it. Fence your gum, a be overheating. Fence your gum. Move face your mommy. No, every terminals. Debbie, Debbie, my end. I can't ask any other. Everybody shows attitude. Ask wives and husbands if there is never an attitude in marriage. How it will be like. I love you. Okay. I love you. Okay. Yes. The other day, one brother told me, the first time he told his father, Oh, daddy, thank you. I love you. I'm quite as I'm free. African man. Debe love. I love you. <laughs> but he was touched. But that's how the African man will respond. Because I'm free, I love you. I love you, I love you. I love you. I love you. Just say, in the African. Praise God. Holy men. How did they write the scriptures? When they were moved. The Bible said, and the Spirit moved them. Holy men were moved by the Spirit and they wrote the scriptures. 